Hi. Hi. Welcome to the show. Um, of course, um, like this happens a lot. We have gremlins in the works. Did this happen to you guys where like all of our messengers went out? And it was crazy, like it didn't even know who we were. That was really insane. Of course, we were just starting the show at that point. So um, we are on and we're excited to be here. And we have um, Lorene. Uh, okay, now you've got to say the last name, Andy. I just went Salomon, right? Yep, yes. Salomon. Yep. Oh my goodness. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I'm glad that we got it all sorted out. <laughs> oh, I know. Great. Hi, Andy. <laughs> How are you? I am doing good. Uh, it's been kind of, a, I don't know, uh, up and down. Uh, I think I've been on the verge of being sick and then being okay. And then, and um, actually, when I think about it, um, I seriously think I had like a spiritual download is what I remember you saying this, Debbie, that it was going to happen. And I feel like I got a little bit of that. So my energy has been kind of all over. Um, so. Well, let us know when you start, yeah. you know, <laughs> figuring out what the heck happened or what did, what gift did you get or whatever. That's exciting. Hi, China. Um, we are so um, excited that you are here and um and to talk about your energy 101 um one of the things that um that we talk about a lot on this show is energy and how to use it in everything so we're so excited to hear what you have to say about it yes i'm 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 very happy to be here and and just like share i feel like there's so many you know there's there's a lot of people that are you know coming into awakening and then there's those of us who are advanced and like it's just like getting back to the basics I feel is is just super important um so I just thought it would be a great topic to kind of just bring everybody back ground us in and get back to the basics oh great well we're excited to learn to tonight a little bit of what you can share and um also if we can do we have some links for her Andy, if yep. anybody wants to get a hold of her. Okay, you guys. So as always, we have links in the post. So you can go ahead and, and connect to her if you want to know more later on. Okay. So I think that we're ready uh, to um, absolutely hear what you have to say. And, and our audience is free to uh, uh, write comments. All right. Perfect. So um I just wanted to start with like getting back to the basics and it, you know, in, in the Bible and back to the book of Genesis is as God's voice. It said that God's voice created the universe. And so we're working with energy in matter in different forms, sound vibration. Um, and we're living in this world of duality and polarity and opposites up and down, you know, hot and cold, good and bad. So like getting all the way back into that sound really connects us into a higher state of consciousness and our breath. So OM, like A-U-M, OM, is the sound of creation or, or supreme creator, God, whatever that is for each of us. Um, so and then we have our sacred mind and our soul self, and, and that's residing within our hearts. So we're just bringing these three different types of... Um, like mystical states of consciousness into this reality, into this 3D reality. And as we're shifting our consciousness, going into the higher dimensions of reality. So we have OM, which is our sacred sound creation. And then we have A, A U H, our frequency of the heart. And then OM, O M, is resonating the frequencies of the sacred mind. And so like if everyone just wants to kind of take a deep breath and then after the breath, just kind of let their tongue relax and just kind of feel your energy as it shifts in your own body, how your energy feels with you right now. So in, in, in the mind, in, in God energy, and then it's infused with, with Mother Earth and that energy of the heart. And, you know, we're, we're just creating all these sounds. So one thing that I wanted to talk about, too, is um, 
soul, like our soul song. Like we all have like this song that we have. It's like our vibrations. Like if you're in the supermarket and you know, somebody gets really, really close to you from behind and you're like, wow. And you can just feel them, right? Like that's just an energy dynamic is like they're into your vibrational field. Um, and, and we remember each other from the, from the soul level through our quote unquote, like a soul song. Like we're all like, we have these songs. And if we, even if we go back in to ourselves is like, there's songs that we've heard over time that help us to inspire like a different part of our life. And then it creates this vibration within us. So, you know, there's all these musical notes that are comprised of different tones and infinite overtones. And so like, we're just like, we all have this song going on in our head. I just thought of a, (laughs) one of my guides just reminded me of a, uh, like a TV show that my brother watches family guy and the guy on there, he has this song that he plays sometimes and he walks and then the song goes off. Sorry. <laughs> it was just really funny how it came in. <laughs> um, Cause I've never really watched it, but my brother does. So, <laughs> and I happened to see that episode. Um, so, you know, as we're bringing these states of consciousness in and, and, and our, our own energetic vibration, we're shifting through different brain waves and, you know, humans breathe at about 16 breaths per minute. So as we go in, like when we're doing meditation or different things that are happening in our lives, we go into different types of controlled breathing. And like for those of us that um, have been having issues shifting with the energies and everything that's been going on lately, it's really good to kind of get focused in on controlled breathing for about 10 minutes, just focusing 10 to 12 breaths per minute as opposed to the 16. So I I don't want to touch too much on the brain waves, but you know, the brain waves are are very uh, much a part of how we're bringing in the breath and, and clearing ourselves. And there's different states that we can reach. And a lot of us, you know, that are, doing our intuitive psychic work, we, we reach these different levels, um, in our brain waves and these vibrational frequencies that are just like, we're creating our lives through our own energy. And then all the energy that's in the outer world. Let's see. So just kind of talking about breath and, and that sacred breath that we have, um, when we change our breath, we change our health, we change, our emotional state, the clarity of our mind. And um, there there was a statistic that I read is like 75% of toxins that we take in daily are released through our breath. So we can literally heal ourselves just through breathing and changing our own energetic dynamic Uh, within. Right. You know, I've heard a lot about um, that uh, breathing is so important, so important in our lives. And we we need to learn how to do it right. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And, and that's the thing is like, you know, we're just going, 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 you know, in this human, you know, existence. And like, there's always something to do, right? Like we're always doing something. So, but yeah. like, we just take for granted, like we just breathe, but we're not, are we really breathing? Like, are we really releasing our toxins? You know, um, people are having so many different, um, levels of anxiety or different sicknesses that are coming up as a, as a discordance in the body. And, you know, it's like, well, let's get back to the basic. How, how am I regulating my own energy? How am I breathing? Like, cause we don't think about it. We just do it. It's a natural response. But like when you really do put really focused intention on that, you can really just feel how everything just shifts and your whole body just like, it's almost like when you jump into the pool and it's like freezing, like, oh, you know, <laughs> and, and like the energy shifts. It's the same thing when you really focus on that breath is like, wow, I was so tense in my shoulders. My neck was hurting. Like you don't realize how um, uncomfortable that you are um, until you really start to be very aware. So I feel like part of this message in just kind of getting back to the basics is remembering that like, our breath is so important uh, and that can ch- literally change everything in your life just literally by being in the awareness of breath. Oh, absolutely. 
Uh, you know, everything seems to be connected too, because when we go even to posture and to breath and stress, you know, everything's connected. And when you get down to it, don't they say like the root of like uh, illnesses and stuff, you know, are is like from the stress and everything. We mm -hmm. totally do need to start at the beginning and we need to learn how to do all these things correctly. Right. And, it, you know, 80 to 90 percent of people have restrictions in their breath and like they're creating it and they're avoiding experiencing unpleasantness too, like the anxiety that's building up like, OK, well, what's the anxiety really coming from? And like, why am I why am I just like not allowing myself to breathe? Like, what am I suppressing? And, you know, it's a lot of self-actualization and that it, it being in that awareness. But like you know, like we're always looking for outside sources of happiness or, you know, feeling comfortable when really we can create it just by, you know, slowing down our breathing, getting into like, that, like, <clears throat> you know, we try to control all these things. It's like, you know, we want to control this. We want to control that. But really, what can we really control? We can control our breathing. <laughs> That's something we can mm -hmm. definitely do. Um, and, you know, when we deactivate our feelings, um, you know, they become repressed, they store in the subconscious, and then into the ethereal body as well. And then, you know, you're just creating all this tension. So like that soul song that I was talking about, like, people will feel this vibrational discordance, like through you, some people are more sensitive to it than others, you know, it be, some people being empathic, and then just being in someone else's space. But like, don't we want to have on like this really happy soul song, not this one that's like, discordance, and like, you know, we're, we're vibrating out a, a negativity that is affecting the, the whole consciousness, you know, the mass consciousness is like, let's start vibrating out our happiness literally just by changing our breath and changing, you know, our own energy. And as life force energies enter through the body and that vibration and frequency increases, our emotions lift, we get a sense of well-being and, and we start to feel really connected. It's like, you know, so many people that I've been hearing lately is like, I'm lonely. I feel like I don't have anybody. I don't understand why I feel this way. I don't feel like I belong here. It's like, well, you know, going back, how am I disconnected from myself? If I'm disconnected from myself, how can I feel connected to anything or anybody? And I really right. just feel like the message is going back into that breath and remembering. Oh, the wow. Breath. Right. And that's, that's the hard thing. You, 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 you know, tapped into something a while ago about how busy our lives are. And I think a lot of people, me also, don't take the time to take care of ourselves. Right. And and we do need to take time out to to breathe and to and I guess as you do it, you would uh, what uh, condition your body to make sure that it is breathing correctly. Right. And um, so one of the things that I teach uh, with my clients and, and, and sometimes in classes live is we literally will go through some breathing exercises, just getting into the awareness of the breath and and then going through some mantras and and going back to like we like the consciousness of this planet was created out of sound and vibration and um you know, it was a thought. So like, and we're always, you know, we're talking about thoughts and like what's coming in and, you know, we we're driving down the road, we see millions of signs and what's getting into our consciousness subconsciously that we forget about, but then it's there. It's like planted, it's a seed. And it's like getting back into concentrating on the light of your heart and visualizing the flame and being the co-creator of your life. Um, instead of allowing life to create life for you. Um, so in breathing is like we have our breath that helps our body breathe. And most of us should breathe very shallow here in the chest. And when we start to get the focus, we focus our breath down into our belly button. And then it's like there's other different techniques of breathing that I teach where you're literally breathing through your soul. That's how it was <laughs> oh, wow. brought into me is like it, the there's one breath. Um, there's one breath particularly that I teach that is like soul breathing. <laughs> um, 
and you know I, I if you guys want to hear it I will demonstrate or you can message me about it and I'll teach it to you but um, oh I I'd love to see it I just love that you said soul song and I wrote that down I go that is really wonderful. I think I want to know more about this. I would love to to hear it if you wouldn't mind. Yes. Okay. To yeah. Sure. So, uh, one of the breaths in getting started is um, I won't demonstrate this one, but I'll just explain it. It's like um, it's almost as if you were to if well, if some of us have never given birth, but if 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 you were to imagine when someone gives birth, you're blowing out. So you're like opening your mouth really wide and you're blowing, just just like really blowing out. We start with 21 of those breaths. So we're just getting rid of astral debris. We're getting rid of any anxieties in the body. And then when you're breathing through the soul, it's more of an internal ohm. So you take a nice deep breath and it's, I don't want to say that you're quite holding your breath, but you're, you're holding it to a certain spot where you breathe in and it's an internal ohm. So like when you're in yoga, just for yoga fans out there you go at the end of yoga you say om at the end and it's external but this is an internal om this is why i feel like it's called soul breathing so mm, and it sounds more like a mm, but mm, and you're holding it as long as you can like without passing out or making yourself uncomfortable right but like and as you really build that you start to see you can hold the breath so much longer because your soul isn't going to let you die. <laughs> like it'll be like, Hey, you gotta take a breath now. And then you move on. And like, we move up the chakra systems um, and, and the, those energy points in our body that help us to continue to flow. So in breathe in those breaths that I teach is, you know, is finding out where is the vibration in the body, maybe a little bit off. Um, what can we do in our breath to heal that part of ourselves? And then like, as you know, as you get stronger, you can just really kind of facilitate the energy on your own. But when you're first getting started, it's definitely, um, a balancing act, you know, because you don't want to shift too much too fast because the spirit's ready to go. And it's like, yay. And the physical body and the human brain's like, wait a minute, <laughs> I'm not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's uh, amazing that um, that it, it is so important, and we do need to to also um, uh, learn to do this. Um, and I want to ask also: um, Do you teach this um, like in in video online? Is that a, a possibility, or is that only in person? Yes, I do online, um, like Skype or, you know, whatever video apps that people have. Um, but I also do in person. I'm local in South Florida. Um, and I also teach classes. So uh, sometimes I travel and I teach classes throughout the U.S. I, last year I was up and down the East Coast teaching and it was a lot of fun. So, yes, online, um, in person, in groups. <laughs> I'm starting to China. do corporate as well. <laughs> Oh, see, that's great. China says the last time I did that, my entire body went numb and felt so heavy and almost electric. And she said it was definitely an interesting feeling. Is that something uh, normal? Uh, well, I guess my question on to China would be is when you started doing internal breathing or the external breath? China, you can reply to that. So was it internal or were you blowing out? Were you doing it out? So. Or both. Because <laughs> that will, I mean, like I saw, saw it say numb and I'm like, wait a minute. Hi, Paul. Uh, just make sure you're not always left open. I always protect myself when I do these. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um protection, you know, of your energy is important. And there's different exercises that one can do that, you know, some people have their own, you know, that they, they've learned or that were channeled to them. Um, but definitely protection of energy is super important. You can use crystals, you can use energy shields, there's many different modalities that can be used. 
China says it was internal. Okay, so internal ohm and a feeling of heaviness. So that to me, just give me a second. I'm just going to check my in with my guides. Um, yeah, so there's just some blockages internally. And that's how you're breathing internally. And your spirit is trying to show you where a block was. So if it was the entire body, if there's something that you're shifting out of the physical body. So your spirit's been working on it. And when you're doing those breaths, the spirit's showing you this is where your blockage is coming from. But if it's literally the whole body, then that means that, you, you know, you're in a detox, so to speak. And it's just to keep breathing. But the, 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 the flip side of that would be is to do the outer breaths that I sort of demonstrated at the beginning, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. Cause right. you, 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 you have to do the shifting. So you have to, uh, to me, I feel like you need to do both because if you're really just, you go in with the internal ohm and you're breathing through soul, that's great. But the physical body has to catch up with that because your, your spirit is in advancement of what filters in to this vibration. So you have to be able to do both sets of breaths and, you know, depending on, you know, where you're at in your journey, you know, sometimes you do need somebody to help guide you to help to you to shift the energy, because sometimes as you're taking it on on yourself, you know, you kind of get stuck. And I, even I have a mentor and somebody that helps me when I get stuck in places, you know, and even as far as along as I am in my journey, I still, you know, ask for help when I need it, because sometimes you get to a place and there's just so much shifting of energy. And especially with everything that's been going on from a planetary perspective, there's a lot of denseness. There's a lot of heaviness. There's a lot of things just happening and we're responding to the energy and we're doing the best that we can to make sure that we're creating the energy rather than being victim to it. Right. So, um, you know, you may want to have somebody help shift the energy with you, China. Right. And I know that um, sometimes it's great to have uh, at least uh, checking in on that now and then, because like if I don't schedule something, then it's it doesn't get done. But I think that Andy and I have a lot of detoxing to do. <laughs> I, I really think we need to do that. Um, it's so amazing about the breathing. Is there any any other things that we need to know? I mean, should we do this? um detoxing weekly or as needed or well you know i actually suggest it daily um and what i mean by daily let me just kind of pull that in because it, it sounded a little broad i apologize is with the with the outer breaths when you're blowing so you're you're really just you're blowing like you're pulling as much energy up and out of you like from the bottom of your feet right at your soul star chakra from your root chakra you're, and you're blowing out so like um what i teach is 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 seven times three going through the chakras okay mm -hmm. and you're really blowing out now that is i would say that's selective oh. and you should follow your higher guidance on that particular breathing because if just depending on where you're at and like, you know, where your gifts are at and how you can facilitate your own energy, unless you have somebody like assisting you and just kind of checking in with your energy, that's daily. And then you follow up with the ohm seven times three, 21. Okay. And then, so basically when you're blowing out all this energy and then when you come, you're coming in and you're doing the internal ohm, what you're doing is you're sealing up anything that you may have opened up. It's kind of like a surgery wound, so to speak, right? Like you've just blown, like push, you've blown through all this old stinky onions that are inside of you, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and then you you go in and you're just making sure you seal up your energy and you're protecting yourself back and, and you're breathing through the soul. It's like, okay, now I'm coming back into balance. So when I'm working with somebody, like usually we do that every day for 21 days. And then what happens is we, we kind of gauge where are we at with the breathing? Where are the blockages at? Like what still needs to be looked at? So like if you're in a place of self-awareness and you're, and you're just managing this on your own, I would say only do the outer breaths of blowing out one time a week, but do the internal ohms every day 
then go back in the next week, evaluate and see where you're at. If you need to keep blowing the energy out and how fast your physical body catches up with your spirit. So it's like, you know, it's, it goes back into, we live in that duality, that polarity, like finding the balance, being the Buddha, so to speak. So, um, it's a lot of energy work to, I feel like take on, on your own, like just, you know, make sure you're journaling, make sure that you're, you know, you're checking in with yourself because, you know, we go into like, just let's say um, a regular meditation daily. It's like, okay, if we're, if we're breathing at 16, um, at the rate of 16 breaths per minute, and we go into meditation and we're just taking it to a place of 10 breaths a minute. So like we can get into this meditation zone, but that's not really shifting our energy. Like we're going into meditation. It's, it's shifting our energy differently. Like this is about clearing and healing ourselves. Right. Um, so just really monitor that or check in with somebody that you know. And like if you're seeing a pattern that's coming up in the breathing, make sure that you write it down, checking in. So I hope that kind of clears that. I think that we all need it guided. <laughs> we need yeah. a program. We need a guide. <laughs> yeah. Um, I yeah, do have yeah, a question. Of, yeah. Mm hmm. Um, so when you're uh, breathing, should we be uh, visualizing anything special? Well, you know, what I'd like to tell people is set your intention before you go in into everything that you do, right? So you're setting your intention and then you're making a decision like, okay, I, uh, my intention is to go into this because I've been having so much anxiety this week and I really need to get to the core cause and root of this problem and give myself the antidote, right? So my intention is I'm going to go in, I'm going to clear out this, this heaviness, this anxiety, this, this uh, projection of what the future should look like. And when I go in, I'm going to go in and I'm clearing this out and like, I'm going to find out what is really the core of why is, why do I need to know? What is it that I feel like I need? Okay. So coming back in, do I want to visualize something? I, I think that that's um, individualized. Some people can't visualize, some people can, right? So sometimes it's, it's creating a scenery right? Of something that you, that's reminded to you of something that's peaceful and calm. I personally like to visualize violet light, like violet flame light. Like that's what I do. Um, but you know, it could be, uh, it could be the scenery of the beach, you know, or a walk in the desert or in the mountains or in a cave, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, yes and no. I feel like, it, like I said, it's kind of what you feel is best for you. Um, but I love to visualize lights or, you know, for those that can't, uh, that have, I don't want to say can't have trouble visualizing certain colors or certain things is just, is just like, imagine yourself in your favorite outfit. Like what color is it? You know, um, just kind of basic. I think China had a comment saying that she saw colors or something, Andy. Yeah. Did you see that? Um, she said, it almost feels like you're in another dimension. See all types of colors and lights. Absolutely, China. Um, the whole, you know, the theory in behind the breathing is like when you get through it and then you're going to this next place, you're clearing out all this denseness. And for me, when I say dense, I feel like it's dark or, you know, like black or brown or some other color that's very just like almost too rooted, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're doing the breathing and you're shifting your energy and you're, you're literally breathing through your soul and you're changing your soul's song, you're, you should be seeing rainbows and like butterflies and unicorns or whatever, right? Like it's all these beautiful colors and it is dimensional because we are multidimensional beings. We are. Just sometimes when we get wrapped up in the day-to-day, -day, the busyness, we forget, hey, you know what? This is a version of reality, but we're multidimensional beings and we're in different places at different times. And so, yes, 
definitely you feel multidimensional after you're doing this breathing. And then what happens is as it trickles into this human experience, we're, we're shifting all the stuff in our emotional body. We're shifting our physical body and we're literally able to heal ourselves through our breath. Oh, wow. And healing is so needed, not only, you know, for us, but for the world. And I loved how you said, um, talking about like uh, the world consciousness. I mean, we are all connected and I'm always thinking about the whole world needs to heal and sending that out to, to every single thing. And it's so important. Just think if we all, everybody in the world did this. Oh my gosh. Right, right. Right. And you know, you know what too, expanding on that is that as we heal ourselves, we're helping the consciousness heal. So like everything you do for you, it vibrates out and people hear a, um, a soul song, like, come on, get happier. I don't know. Think of a happy song. I'm not, <laughs> you know, everyone's got these different songs, but, um, you know, like, and then the vibration is changing and it's like, you know, healing and praying for yourself and healing and praying for the world. And it's like, yes, as you're doing, it's like, um, you know, sometimes people box it in as, you know, we're just praying and, and it, about ourselves and, you know, it's just about us, but like, we're all connected. Even when we go all the way down to the root chakra level, we're all connected. Just like all the trees in the world are connected. We're all connected. So as we do these amazing things for ourselves we're vibrating that out. So the more that, you know, the more of the mass consciousness starts to become aware, and there's a lot of us that are already there and we're aware, but there's just so many that are still just waking up to like, what's energy? What do you mean breathing? What are chakras? What do you mean in your brain waves? Like, you know, there's just, you know, so that's why I felt like this was like the, you know, good message to, you know, for those of us that are advanced, we're, we just talk in advanced lingo and like we expect everybody to kind of be there with us, but like they're not and that's okay. But like, that's why we're here because we were here to be advanced so we can help the consciousness. So uh, I want you as my next door neighbor so the good vibes can come right in. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, and it and it doesn't need to be complicated. And but I do. Gosh, I just seeing this, I go, I really feel like having a teacher or a mentor or a guide to doing this would be just really uh, a blessing to do. So if you are interested in working and, and getting more into this, the link is in the post. It's wonderful. So to me, just the breathing thing is a career for you. So I know you must do a lot of other things. Can you tell us a little bit about you? Sure. Um, I do a lot of other things, but yes, um, my main purpose is to, um, you know, help people get into the awareness and remembering who they are and their consciousness with breathing and um, lighting their, their light back up, like sparking it again in that remembrance. But I'm also a Kundalini um, teacher, yoga teacher, and um, I've been studying astrology for about 15 years as well. So I, um, I do astrology wow. charts for people. And I... Oh. Uh, I love um, channeling with the angels and um, all of those else who like to channel in sometimes ascended masters and my different guides as well. But, um, you know, I, I also just like as a regular human, one of the things I love to do is I take care of animals locally because I love pets and they're very Aww. grounding for me. So I take care of a lot of people um, locally with their um Mostly dogs and cats. You never know. Sometimes there's a fish in there, but. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, boy. You don't want to know my fish story. The people <laughs> left and I'm looking in the tank and one's dead. I mean, one's like, I want to live. I'll get the food. <laughs> ah, bleh. And I like literally died. And then um, oh, no. I kept the one, the big one, healthy and good. And somewhere right before the people came back, I went in and I'm like, where are you? Where are you? And then it was intertwined in the tubing. I said, that's it. I'm done watching the fish. 
<laughs> but uh, like yeah. who knew a fish uh, could be so complicated? <laughs> I know. I know. I take care of them for years. You just throw the food in. Bye. You know. But um, <laughs> anyway, it's a blessing. Uh, uh, you know, animals are so dear and healing and everything and connected to us. So that is, that's really fantastic. But I hope that you do come on a show sometime and talk about channeling. Yeah. Oh, I would love we have to. have not had anybody. I've been saying, where's the person? I want the channeler. I have one friend that has gone twice to, um, uh, oh, where is it? In Arizona. Mm, don't know Where's, yes <laughs> and taken um you know workshops on the palladians and i can't right. wait to kind of find out a little bit about that but he's like not channeling yet and i go oh, i just it's so interesting you know um and to experience that too and to you know to watch someone do it which i have but mm -hmm. um I I would love to get that all explained. And, yeah, and that would be awesome. I would love to do that. I mean, um, that's awesome. He he. I mean, I don't really say things like too much about um, myself in 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 the context of being a star seed. But since we're bringing it up, why not? Like I I am a Syrian. That's where my soul originates from. So. It's, you know, I'm a Syrian. I, I definitely channel through that, through them. And, but like, it's funny because it's like cats and dogs in the aquatics. <laughs> and then like, then there's me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so here I am. Oh. But yeah. So um, when you channel, um, is it always uh, messages for different people? Do you do this in a group or one-on-one? -on -one? I, it, it really, it depends on what type of setting I'm in. Um, you know, I've done it in a group um, uh, with my one-on-one -on -one clients that I have. You know, I, I'm channeling either their guides or um, I don't, sometimes it's their ancestral line, but a lot of times it is their, like their guardian angels or their guides or masters that are coming in to work with their energy and, and preparing them. So there's messages that need to, you know, that need to be brought up front and it's, just, you know, more directive. So, you know, sometimes the ancestral lines will come in as well, but um, I definitely seem to work more with the angels, archangels, personal guides, personal angels, and then, you know, just depending on sometimes even just channeling in the person's higher self so they can get a little more aware of what that voice sounds like to them. Oh, that's right. awesome. Okay. Uh, oh, that is so neat. Can you guys imagine getting those important messages from the other side and things that you need to know? Imagine they need to know, are they on the right path or uh, what, you know, about their gifts and different things like that. It's amazing. Right. Yeah. And a lot of times too is with working with people after these messages are channeled in, uh, there's an activation that literally like I'm helping to facilitate take place. It's like, and then like, you're like, boom, <laughs> you're like all of a sudden, like, it's just like opening up and then people are like, what? Who are you? Ah. Like, Why are you saying this? <laughs> ah, you know? So it's it's fun oh, though, that, and it's it's very transformative, and it's quick, and it's amazing. I love that. Oh, that's really neat because, like, like what Andy was saying, and what mm -hmm. what's happened in my life, it's just been certain big things happening, like near death experience, and then certain ages hit, and just certain other times, and then on and on and on and on, more things coming in, and it's just like it's crazy, isn't it, Andy? Just to turn around yeah. and go, hey, I can do that now. Well, that was neat. You know, when these new things come in, it's like, it's like Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's, it's so exciting to know that we can do something else. And, and for me, it's just like stepping into like, I just, somebody says something and I go, well, let me try. And then we go, oh my goodness, that, you know, the universe, God gave me, gave me something else. This is so fun. And so really is neat. But it, I love the idea of getting those messages from the other side and then and having them facilitate the change. Oh, the activation. You know, that is amazing. I want to see that, too. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
You've got to do YouTube or something. Do you have a YouTube channel? I don't have a YouTube channel right now. Um, I did have one. I took it down. And um, I've just been kind of like revamping things because I took a little bit of a sabbatical last year because I was kind of drained. So like everything's kind of like, you know, being revamped with the websites and the, and the you know, the videos and things like that. So, but definitely they've been talking to me more about like getting back to the YouTube. And um, last year I, I have a group on Facebook called the co-creators of peace where I would do 11, 11 AM meditations, Eastern time every day. And we're actually relaunching that. Um, mm. my, my spirit team has been definitely encouraging me back working with St. Germain and uh, Archangel Zedekiel and Amethyst to really get back live with that because I did a lot of channeling in that group every day at 1111 to bring peace to self, but also out to the consciousness again. So we're going to be relaunching that next week, actually. Oh, gosh. Just oh, let us know because we'd love to give links and, and, and announce that for you. Oh, okay, I want to experience great. that. Yeah, and oh, all the videos are, are still saved in there as well from before. But, yeah, we're going to be going back live, um, going back into channel. It was um, – they were basically telling me, like, hey, like, I don't know why you stopped. Like, we didn't, like, <laughs> you know, like, did you quit? <laughs> I'm still right. here. They're like, well. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. You know, also, I really kind of feel like I, – I know for me, and I think that – you know, I think that everything was just kind of different lately or for the last month or so. And I know for me that I just like, like yesterday, I just went, okay, I'm rearranging everything workspace. Um, I know what I'm going to do now. And I mean, like this big change, I even put a thing on my Facebook saying, you guys hold off on readings and stuff because I'm going to, I'm doing something big. <laughs> Right. And so I do feel like it's the time and I don't know what, um, you know, maybe astrologically speaking, there's something going on in the world or the energy, but I just felt like, oh my goodness, I've got to revamp everything. And mm -hmm. I hope that's going around because I think that we need to have a shakeup or make a, a, a different change to grow. I, I, you're totally right. And the shakeup has already taken place. Like, it's basically like, this is like, it's like the whole planet, like if you can imagine it smaller, and you, it's been put in a blender, like we've been blended and blended and blended, right? Like, shaken up, the, the, the soul songs are changing, the breath is changing, the consciousness is changing. And it's like, okay, everyone, here we are. Let's go. <laughs> like, you've had your time and like I feel like we're all kind of wrapping up on that like you said like kind of just finishing thing, things up getting the organization revamp and like you know in these next few months like it's all gonna start like the seeds have already like it's like the seeds that have in the shaker are like planted they're there and we're just gonna like just start drinking from this this well of you know not even just channeling but like of each in the individualized person's gifts and it's like okay it's time to launch and now we're like coming together <laughs> i knew that i was like launch 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 i knew that mm -hmm. word was coming out it was just funny yeah. i i was gonna say it <laughs> and yeah i feel like it's all uh ready to launch and i feel like the our show and if you if you go live and you're and doing all of that is getting it out to more and more people, we are more and more people are waking, waking up to all of this and um, learning. And there's a lot, a lot to learn. We just we just went on the breath today talking about how it's connected to everything and how you can heal yourself and then put that healing out to the whole world and probably the universe. Why not? And um, of course. And, um, and so that's this little component. And there's so much more when we get into, I guess, the chakras and we just on and on and on and on. And right. I mean, I know that in our books that we do, we talk about energy a lot. And, and it isn't like starting from you and going on like you're showing us, which we hope you come on and 
expand even more on it. Um, we talk about it for um, manifesting. And a lot of what you were saying, I said, oh, that's when you go in and you're manifesting, you're visualizing, you're manifesting. And um, it's also connected. It's really a huge thing. But thank you for showing us that this is the important part is, to, is us and starting there in healing and going on. And I, I need to totally do this. <laughs> I Absolutely. do. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on it. I, I'm, I'm next, but um, it's been great. And I don't know. Um, it, we started late, you know, the gremlins in the mix. And I don't know if you have any more time or if we should wrap up with the gift card thing or what. Was there um, anything else you wanted to say? You know, I, I don't feel like there's anything else I wanted to say. Um, just making a comment about what you said is like in energy and manifesting. I feel like, you know, part of the lack sometimes in manifesting and with energy is because the lack of breath and observance and awareness we're giving to ourselves. So we mm. kind of block that if we're not in our awareness of self and breath. So it's just kind of like an, a little like piece I feel sometimes is, is missed in the manifesting in like, Oh, well I'm doing this and this and this and it's not working, but why? Yeah. I hear you that know? a lot. Yeah. And when we want to be in our best health, or detoxed when we do our manifesting and all the other things that we do, you know? Right. And, and that's awesome. So breath is so important. And um, I'm so glad that we, we got to talk about that today. And it really is not something that I knew too much about. And even though I have my friends that, you know, do all this stuff. <laughs> I'm so busy doing this other this other path. So I think it's really great for all of us. And we want to thank you so much for for that. Yeah, um, thank you for having what is me. Andy, what's Vicky saying? So Vicky's got a question. Um, and I don't know all of the acronyms, but I know a couple. Uh, she says, does channeling spirits come through from C- NDE, which I'm assuming is near death experience or out of body experience, or uh, that's near, near death, death experience ex with the end one by energies. Oh, do you okay? So, I think what she's asking is um, when you channel the spirits, is it is it like out of body experience for you? Um, do you feel like you're watching yourself when, or do you, you close that part off and say, don't show me, I don't want to see myself channeling. Um, how does that work for you? Uh, well, how that works for me is before I get, you know, like if I know I'm going into a group or if I know I'm going to come on a show and I know I'm going to do channeling. Right. And I know like the channeling starts before I even get here. Okay. <laughs> it starts coming through and like, I really get myself out of the way and I do a lot of breathing, a lot of breathing to, to change the brain waves. And I didn't really get into that tonight, but that's okay. So like, I really have to change the brain waves within myself. I have to step aside and the channeling just comes through me. Like I don't see it. My channeling just comes right through. Uh, it's part of, you know, um, I guess if you want to say the Clara Cognizance gift, is it just kind of comes through and it just, I know, and it just kind of comes out of my mouth. <laughs> right. um, so there's really nothing um, about being out of body or, or, or near death or anything like that. For me, I don't know about, you know, other people, but um, for me, it's just, I step out and my guides are just facilitating the physical body and then whatever angel or master or guide that's coming in. And like, you know, sometimes uh, my voice will change or even my face will do like a type of transfiguration um, yeah. where the spirit's literally trying to come through and show itself or, or the angel is, is there mm -hmm. with that energy. So that's how it works for me. 
Right. I'll, I'll respond to Vicki. Vicki, when I had the near-death experience, so um, what happened right after that is when all of a sudden I could hear what was being said to me. And that was the huge thing. And after having a life of like knowing, knowing everything, I knew everything that was going to happen. And I was lucky and I could manipulate dice. I could do all kinds of stuff. But I thought everybody could. I didn't think anything of a, having a force field around me. And then after the near death, there came the strong thought and sentences. And it was like, whoa, where'd that come mm -hmm. from? So that came in, but not channeling. You know, no one came in and came out through me. So that was the beginning of a whole bunch of stuff coming in over a few years and still coming. Uh, but I definitely it changes you when you have an experience like that. You know, something is going to give. And I would think that maybe some of the things that could come in would be someone absolutely going into channeling or doing something else. So or seeing my girlfriend, she, she had almost dead on the table. And after that, she could see the angels. Well, there's an angel. Yeah, that's wow. an angel. And so she sees them to this day and talks to them and gets that lady is uh I've experienced that she's 100% right in everything she's ever said. So, um, and she gets it from the angels. So we have different things that happens with at least near death. And I can't speak to the other things, but um, uh, I just, I feel like people that channel usually know that they're going to do it. So I don't know. So, and she says, Vicki says, I do have CNDE for 19 years. She, Vicki is a very wonderful uh, medium. Um, please, we always keep her link up. She um, goes on quite often and does uh, readings on her website. And she's amazing. You know, I was talking to her one day and she totally brought in my brother who had just passed. And I don't ever ask for readings. So it was like, uh, uh, <laughs> exactly what she said uh, was uh, correct. So she's very, very gifted. So thank you. And we appreciate you, Vicki, being on, being a watcher and a viewer for us. We love that. And when we do readings, Vicki will chime in and help. So that's really, really fun. Um, China, I want to have you on the show. With me, it was really hard growing up with this gift. My family always saw it as dynamic. My family was totally into it because uh, we had a connection to a spiritualist camp. So uh, we just, it was normal thing. So I'm really lucky that way. But China, that's what happens to a lot of gifted kids. Their parents tell them, no, you didn't see them. No, you don't have a friend. And no, you don't tell anyone. So it does stifle for a while. But a lot of times it comes back uh, later on when they're out of the house. Mm -hmm. So uh, that anyway. happened to me. Yeah. Well, tell us. <laughs> well, <laughs> when I was younger, um, I don't remember a lot of it, but my cousin, she said that I would describe ghosts and see shadows and stuff like this. And, um, and I was told not to talk about it. And, and I was raised that way. Like you just don't talk about it. So I blocked a lot of it out until what, three years ago. Mm -hmm. And what I'm noticing now, and I feel like this is happening and I don't know about you two, but I feel like more people are being more, uh, are awakening now at such a higher pace. Um, does well, that... you certainly did. You, you were just, you know, came to me and like, I'm interested. And then bam, in no time, you are a very gifted medium. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, Lorraine, how, how did you grow up? Did you have um, from the very beginning all these strong gifts and everything? And were they supported by your family? You know, <clears throat> it's interesting. Um, I, I remember being about four or five years old, um, with gifts and, and seeing spirits and, um, knowing when my grandfather was going to pass and saying to my mother, mm -hmm. well, 
Pap's, Pap, Pap is gone. And she goes, well, what do you mean he's gone? I said, well, he died. And she goes, why would you say such a thing? And, um, and like, I remember that, but like, I don't remember a whole lot of my childhood, different things, like with what my family said to me, like, I, it's like, I was the star of my show. And like, I don't remember (laughs) anything about them. (laughs) Like, it was always just like me in my own bubble. And I'm like, Oh, you're there. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> like, but like, you know, they're, they're the one side of my, I do remember my father's side of the family, they're very Catholic. And so, you know, it was like, I don't want to go to church, blah, blah, blah. And like, I got in trouble because I said, well, they're not telling the truth. And like, I got in trouble for saying that. <laughs> so that's kind of my experience, but I kind of just lived in my world. And like, I didn't really, I wouldn't say that. I didn't vocalize a lot, especially after I told my mom, you know, like, hey, Pap is dead. Um, Because I could see that she was uncomfortable. So, Mm -hmm. you know, I guess maybe that's why I just stayed in my own bubble and like, oh, hi, how are you? (laughs) I'm over here. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. Um, I think that we should give a gift card away. And um, uh, Laureen, would you um, think in your head a number between one well, one to 100 right. and hold on to it for a few minutes. So we have some viewers. If you go ahead and post in the comments um, anything from a uh, number from one, including one to 100, and we'll give away a Starbucks gift card. How's that? Starbucks, I could use some coffee right now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right. We just went. It sounded good, didn't it? Yeah. We usually only, sometimes would give away tacos. <laughs> only it, one Eddie. number, everybody. Just post one time, please. <laughs> we love our cheaters when they put three or yeah. four numbers down. <laughs> no. I go, did I just not tell the right thing? One through 100. And okay, let me start writing. Donna is 64. Okay. So far, yeah. that's all we've gotten gotten in. So yet. far, you're doing good, Donna. If nobody else puts anything in, you're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Starbucks. <clears throat> is uh, Carlos in the house? <laughs> yeah. I got to say it. I got, we always say that to Carlos, uh, Lorraine. We always have to mention him. He's got an <laughs> ego. <laughs> okay. So, Carlos <laughs> 44. Okay. He says he sees 44 all all the time. Um, 44 and 11. And 11. I was going to say 11 is his his thing. Uh, China's got 11 on this one. Okay. That was so, the number last time. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yep, we only have three so far. Okay, everybody. I can't see who's all in there. I have limited viewing. Otherwise, I'm afraid to push a button because I might be gone. <laughs> and that happens. Huh. We we get kicked out a lot. We have a lot of things. I've got to ward the mm-hmm. electronics a little bit better. It's you know what would happen. be really good is Shungite. Well, what is that? Shungite is a stone. Um, it's it's a several thousand years old but chungite is really good for helping with emf and all the wires and everything you might want to put some chungite oh because i use black tourmaline i put it on great yeah that's great for blocking like you know negative energies and different things from attaching to you but chungite is specifically for emf and wires and broadcasts and things like that okay just wrote that down i the big gem and mineral show was today i did not know it i'm like my my cousin is there, and I'm like, are you kidding me? That's where I should be. But next week and is a meetup. I've got 330 members, I think, now. And a meetup uh, we're having at South American Imports. So we're going to be doing some rocks and crystal uh, shopping. Oh. And, like, yesterday I bought 60 bucks worth of charms. <laughs> I'm buying all this stuff. I'm going to have a shop, let me tell you. Yeah. Um, okay. Brandy. Hi, Brandy. Brandy's 14. We have yeah. to wrap it up, people. Vicky. Hi, Vicky. You're still with us. Thank yep. you so much. Vicky lives a long way away. 
And then okay. Donna Donna wants to know how do you spell shundite? Uh, it's S H U N G I T E. So you were very close. Ooh, Just change the D to the a N. G. I yeah. forgot the Ann. Yeah. Okay. And um, just to let you all know, I do have tons of crystals. So if there's something, you know, that you're looking for or specific, um, I have lots of crystals available that I sell. And um, I do individualized boxes. And I'm getting ready to launch. Oh, wow. um, uh, specific like if you want a personalized meditation a personalized affirmation card and it's channeled okay and it comes with the crystals specific to what your needs are i, I haven't I, launched I, the I website a- yet but ju- that's just a <laughs> fyi i'm putting it launching it now <laughs> how fun i do uh charm boxes so i pick i do a reading and then i pick out a charm and so far has been like super crazy uh, connection with charms and the people where they just, are you kidding me? Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and so, um, so anyway, this is fun to do. And I love that idea. And we, you guys go to her Facebook page and go look at any links and everything. And um, that's a wonderful thing what she can do and that, um, and absolutely the gift that you just said, hey, if you guys need something, let me know and we'll go ahead and do a deal. That's wonderful. I think we're ready for the number. Yeah. Number is 36. Oh. Let's see. I think that's, is that, that's Carlos. Carlos. Yeah. Four. Yeah, he's yeah. close. Carlos. Congratulations, so, congratulations. Carlos. Congratulations. Oh, finally, you won, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> has he won before? I don't think. Has he? I, I, don't, don't, I don't think he has. Awesome. Yeah. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> and he comes Car- every week. So, Carlos, if you don't want Starbucks and you want tacos or something, just private message me. Private message me your address and I will get it in the mail to you. And. And that's one of the things, you guys. If you win, I you think have he to. might like. I think he might like Taco that. Bell. <laughs> I think so. It, it's an excuse for me to go to Taco Bell, and I shouldn't do any of that. I'm trying to be good, but oh my gosh, it's so hard to be good. And I need to breathe. Ah, laugh out loud. Just let we me know, Carlos, what you want. <laughs> yes, we all need to. You have learned something about it. So, and if you don't know how to, to go about it, then you've got someone right here. Her link is in the post and get a hold of her. We need good teachers. And Donna says, oh, so I don't personally have to hold it to see if it's for me. What is she referencing? Uh, when she gets the Shundite or Shundite stone, she oh. doesn't need to fill it out, right? Some, I know some people do. Uh, no, uh-huh. you don't. You really don't uh-huh. have to. I mean, you can. Um, so there's a couple of things. Can I say something really quick? Do we have time? Or oh yeah, mm-hmm. okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so with with shungite, um, it, not only with the EMF and the pollution and like the wires and just kind of like getting the energy in the house situated, you can actually use shungite and put it into your water to alkalize it, and it helps to flush out all the organs in your body as well. So, oh wow, yeah, it was a, about a powerful stone, yeah, about 25 years ago. Um, and I'm a, a retired librarian for the government, and um, a book came in on uh crystals and was making uh elixirs. I was out there putting the citrine in the water in the sun, <laughs> drinking yeah. it up, <laughs> so that's been around for a while, but I was all in into that, oh, and yeah. um. And it's funny how a lot of things that back then that I go, gosh, why didn't I keep doing stuff like that? But I miss what Carlos said. I will. Thank you, Debbie. Okay. Yeah. And Um, then um, he's got a question for Lorraine, if you have time. Yeah, sure. No problem. Okay. Okay. Um, Go ahead and ask it, Carlos. And it's probably a little bit of a lag from Facebook to be live. So um, Vicky says, congrats, Carlos. And 
yeah, so. Um, uh, <laughs> he's typing it away. Um, okay. Spiritual question, I'm sure she has the answer. She is connected, guys. Absolutely. And I can't wait. Book with book with us again. And we just are so excited. We want to have you talk about channeling and anything you want to talk about. All right. Yeah, uh, sounds great. I would love to. Energy 102. <laughs> energy 102. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like energy 101, like keeping it to the basics is it was it was a very hard line for me to keep it basic. <laughs> oh, but, um, you know, we're all like newbies. So great. Oh, here's one for Carlos. My best friend, Andy, felt a male ancestor guide near me. Why is he here? OK, give me just a second. I don't feel like it's from your ancestral line, Carlos. It feels more like a new guide that's being presented to you that's getting ready to work with your energy. And uh, your friend Andy um, is like your messenger who it feels like you listen to, like you like really kind of um, value what, you know, his opinion. Hmm. Did we lose Lorraine? Um, I have her frozen. Uh, uh, let's let me let me type to her. Hello. Okay. I have an ability to team chat. <laughs> um, so. Oh. Okay. Well, let's. I haven't got anything back from her, um, but this I'll is I'll go it. ahead and uh, mention our sponsor and see if okay. we can get Lorene back. And I'll keep an eye out here in the lobby. But tonight's sponsor is brought to you by Checkered Lily, <clears throat> excuse me, Apoth Apothecary. And I did post our sponsor link. It's in the comments. It's also in the uh, video description as well. So... And I will put that up here. Okay. I'm trying to get in, in contact with yeah. her. See if we Let's... can't bring her back in. Going to Oh, there she is. Be is she back? Like a little Okay. She came back in. So the checkered lily apothecary like. is Kimberly Boshu. And Kimberly has uh, wonderful products that she makes from home. And they are um, makeup and fantastic makeup. And her new line for Halloween is going to be Edgar Allan Poe. So be sure to go check her Etsy shop. And the you're going to need that makeup for, uh, the, uh, for every day or Halloween, depending on how you use it. And her um, link is in the... Uh, uh, in our post and fantastic uh, makeup she has. I'm going to have her come on one day in makeup along with Wendy. And Wendy didn't come on tonight, but I want to see if I can get Wendy to, uh, to do Halloween makeup for you since that's she's a professional makeup artist and face painter. So I'm going to see if she'll come in and do that for us. Do, it, it, is Lorreen still in? No. Um... Oh. Yeah, we lost her. Okay. We have her picture, but um Oh. I'm just saying lost you to her and see if she says anything. It'll ding to me. Um okay. that was so interesting and we need to actually blow out all that toxin. <laughs> I'm ready. And um uh, that's something that we take for granted that we need to 
to do a lot of things for our body. One is our posture, because I'm sitting like this, right? That's not good. But the breathing thing. And this is my friend, uh, Prakash, who I'm going to ask to come on, is also a Kundalini. And it's all about breath. And he will tell, he'll put, take us through how to heal ourselves with that. And I'm going to ask him to come on at another time and do meditation. Absolutely. We want Lorene back on to talk about yes. channeling energy and everything. She gave us such, she gave us a great base right now and we need to learn how to breathe and then we can go ahead and, uh, and learn more from her and and learn how everything breaks down to energy and how we start with ourselves and then we go out to the cosmos so anyway i think it's probably time to go to the lobby andy do you have anything else to say um we will see you guys next week uh next wednesday and next friday again same time and uh, Debbie has created e uh, Facebook events. So now we have uh, the schedule out there. So you can go onto the fan page and you can see who we have booked. Yeah, I've got about three more people to do events uh, for. So um, I just uh, been very busy doing this big new change. <laughs> so I will get them on there so you guys can see um, who's coming in. We will have a shaman coming in and we're going to practice with her, make sure that she connects well with uh, Be Live because she's going to be doing her singing bowl. The singing bowl freaked me out though. It really did. Oh. I didn't know they were that loud. I was like, oh yeah. my gosh. She says, put your hands on it. And I'm going, whoa. Yeah, you're like, oh. it, it, was it, yeah. it was amazing. And she's going to do drumming. And she's actually going to come to my house and uh, do a meetup here and teach us like shamanism 101. And um, so we're going to do a practice first, you know, and then we're going right. to do it. She made these little sage bundles for everybody. So that's going to be really fun. Thank you, Vicki, for coming and staying on. I know it's late for you. And we'll be seeing you live on your show. And um, so anyway, I don't, I'm not really sure who's booked, who's coming up booked next, but we will, uh, we're trying to fill all the spaces. Janine's going to be on and Sabine is the shaman. She's going to be on. Zoe, I'm looking for her fairy picture. She's going to be on. And I'm going to try to get that channeler, um, the Pleiadian channeler on and a few other people. So it's going to be great. So yeah. everybody, we're going to go ahead and go. And thank you All so right. much for watching. Okay. Good night, everybody. Keep everybody safe. Take care. Bye-bye.